Three things you must know about a narcissist, particularly during and after a relationship. First, what is a narcissist? Most people think that a narcissist is someone that is self-absorbed, overly confident, generally full of themselves, but it is more than that. It is a diagnosed personality disorder that causes someone to have a lack of empathy for others, the need for excess attention and admiration. They have troubled relationships and an inflated sense of self-importance. Before we go on, a bit about ourselves. I'm Annie, this is Jeff. we are The Breakup Channel, and we have been through it all, so we can share our experiences with you. Through helpful videos, songs, news and music to relax to, we all need that, and other various videos to laugh, cry and to give you as much help as we can. Now let's get back to it. Number three, narcissists are arrogant. They believe they are far superior to others, including their partners. They need excessive praise and admiration, always and continually. They will react badly, and in some cases very badly, to perceived criticisms. They cannot do anything wrong, and in a relationship you cannot tell them they did anything wrong. So during a breakup it will never, ever be their fault. This is similar to gaslighting. We cover this off in our other video, seen here. There'll be a link below to watch later. Number two, narcissists are demanding. They want everything their way and they want it now. They think that they are pulling their weight around the house by doing what they think they should, as they are far above menial tasks. Therefore, it's left up to the partner to do the rest. And if you dare ask them to do more, well, then expect a fight or argument, as how could you ask someone as superior as them to help you out? If they want to go somewhere and you don't, then don't think you'll get a say. It is what they want and when they want. And after a breakup, well, it's no different. Number one, the narcissist is self-centered. They are on a mile high pedestal and better than everybody else. You are lucky to breathe the same air. They can do no wrong, they are perfect. You are never perfect, in fact, you are adequate at best. You never dress the right way, you don't say the right things, you don't act the way you should, according to them. But again, if you point out any of their faults, expect an argument. It is impossible to get into a narcissist's head to understand them. You do need to remind yourself that it is a medically diagnosed disorder they suffer from. Although saying that, a lot of narcissists will never admit there is anything wrong with them and they will never get themselves diagnosed. Most narcissistic relationships don't last long. So if you manage to live with a narcissist, well done. If you're still living with one, then seek professional help to deal with this long term. If you have separated, then document everything. They don't control you anymore. Live your own life. Be happy that you are free. Check out our other videos here, such as parental alienation and Stockholm Syndrome. Look after yourself. Until next time.